Okay, good day everyone. So as mentioned in the introductory video, this series will demonstrate how all functionality inside computers takes place via the proper sequencing of electrical signals. To reiterate this point, all functionality inside computers gets carried out via the switching of circuits in proper sequences. Now in this video, we will look into the basic fundamentals of functionality of the electronic circuit of a flat screen display panel. For this, we shall use a bare bone or simple circuit of a flat screen display to facilitate our demonstration. Now in this circuit, observe that we have a mesh of vertical and horizontal wires. And at the intersection of each vertical and horizontal wire, we have a light emitting element. Note that different types of flat screen displays could use slightly different types of technologies for the light emitting functionality. And in this demonstration, we have used LED bulbs as the light emitting elements, represented here as the black colored square components. Now observe that via the blue connectors, we have connected each LED to a vertical wire. And via the green connectors, we have connected each to a horizontal wire. Next, let us observe what will happen when we provide voltages to the horizontal lines. First, we will connect vertical line 0 or VL0 to ground. Next, we shall apply a voltage to horizontal line 1 to up to horizontal line 7. Now, observe that all the LED bulbs connected to VL0 or vertical line 0 that received a voltage via horizontal line got illuminated. Next, we shall disconnect VL0 from ground and connect VL1 to ground. So now the second vertical wire is connected to ground. Next, let's apply a voltage to horizontal line 0 and horizontal line 4. Now observe that the bulbs that were at the intersections of vertical line 1 and horizontal line 0 and 4 got illuminated. By now, some may be having a doubt as to why in the previous steps, when we disconnected a vertical line from ground and then even disconnected the horizontal lines from power, as to why the LED bulbs remained lit and did not get extinguished. So while the above process continues, let's take a small detour and investigate as to why the bulbs remain lit even when disconnected from power. The fact is, when we apply a voltage to any bulb or light emitting element and then disconnect it from power, it does not go off immediately. Depending on the construction of the light emitting element, it may take anywhere from milliseconds to up to a few seconds to it to fully turn off. And this is why the LED bulbs in the flat screen displays remain illuminated for some milliseconds even after they are disconnected from power. Now observe that eventually each LED will go back to non-illuminated state. Thus in flat screen panels, the light emitting elements have to be re-illuminated a few dozen times every second. And this rate at which the elements are re-illuminated is called the refresh rate of a display. Thus, in a display with a refresh rate of 100, the electronic circuit will traverse over each light emitting element 100 times each second. And now, let's return to the original video. Now observe that by connecting one vertical line at a time to ground, and then providing power to the required horizontal lines, we can illuminate the light emitting elements that are at the intersections of those lines. Now let's hide the internal circuitry by placing a translucent panel on top of the LED bulbs. Now it would be clear that via applying electrical signals in a proper sequence to this flat screen panel, we have managed to display the capital letter A of the English alphabet. And this is the fundamental basis and functionality of all flat screen displays. Thus in this presentation we have demonstrated how via the proper sequencing of electrical signals, we can get a required output on a flat screen display panel. 
Now it would also be apparent that there is ample room to expand the above simple circuit configuration both horizontally and vertically, so to obtain a full-size display grid. Thus, in any flat screen display, there would be thousands to up to millions of light emitting elements at the intersections of horizontal and vertical lines. But immaterial of their construction complexities, realize that underneath their basic, fundamental electrical functionality will remain the same. And that brings us to the end of this presentation. If you did enjoy the content or found it useful, do give us a thumbs up and do also subscribe to our channel. Have a pleasant day and see you in our next video. Bye.